I think for this one, you're going to want to be over there. Ready? Mm-hmm. Up of that setup, Susan. Okay, filming what we're doing, what we've done. We've taken out the compression side. I bored through it, so I've got a stand hinge in there. We're going to cut this top, and with all the weight out, it's going to fail before they connect, and it'll go pop probably. So Susan can back up, and I'm ready to go. extreme leaning things you see we punch through here had a hinge here and as I cut down you had all this wood in here yet and that pulled apart you know there's enough pull on that that popped out so you got to be ready for that and get stepped back quickly you're not going to get back 15 feet but you want to step back <laughs> so worked out good now Susan and I are going to quit sawing for the day and we've got a couple of trees we're going to plant. Anyway, I want everybody to notice how brittle these are. Uh, Bradford pear is a brittle thing with bad branch angles and they bust apart easily. So this is a bad joint here because, because of that, so it busted. And then we've got another one over here that busted in the middle of the one. It's just it's brittle wood, make good firewood. Make a good place for birds to nest. The birds scatter the seeds and these things invade your woods. But uh, if you plant Bradford pear, you know, be ready for disappointment. Be ready to get rid of them early. Uh, Susan's father planted these when, about 1985, 86, sometime like that. So uh, 35 years and we were looking at, boy, we needed to get them out of here. We're just barely past that. Anyway, they're always beautiful in the spring, and we've enjoyed them, but it's time to get rid of them. So, thank you very much for visiting.